Tiffany, hey girl, hey. TC, hey girl, hey. Y'all was hiding here today. I had to take my jacket off. That's wabu, that's wabu. All right, y'all. I hope you all got some rest last night. Enjoy the day. Alicia, y'all. Alicia, y'all. All right, y'all. Mm, I'm write my notes down. All right. Okay, y'all. Top of the day, top of the day, Betwabu, Betwabu, Betwabu. It is Monday, February the 24th, 2020. We are on day 80 and we are in 1 Samuel 4, 5, and 6. All right, y'all, I got to get right to the reading today. I got a bit that I need to work on, so I ain't going to run my mouth too much. We're just going to do the reading and get about our day, y'all. All right. Uh-oh, they done woke up. I hear them. Oh, gosh. All right, y'all. 1 Samuel chapter 4. And the word of Samuel came to all of Israel. Now Israel went out against the Philistines to battle and pitched beside Ebenezer and the Philistine and the Philistines pitched in Apec. And the Philistines put themselves in array against Israel. And when they joined the battle, Israel was smitten before the Philistines, and they slew of the army in the field about four thousand men. And when the people were coming to the camp, the elders of Israel said, Wherefore have you who are smitten us today before the Philistines? Let us fetch the Ark of the Covenant out of Ark of the I'm sorry. Let us fetch the the Ark of the Covenant of Yahuwah out of Shiloh unto us that when it come among us it may save us out of the hands of our enemies. So the people sent to Shiloh that they might bring from thence the Ark of the Covenant of Yahuwah, which dwelleth between the cherubims and the sons of Eli, Hophni, and Phineas were there with the Ark of the Covenant of Yahuwah. And when the Ark of the Covenant of Yahuwah came into the camp, all of Israel shouted with a great shout, so that the earth rang again. And when the Philistines heard the noise of the shout, they said, What meaneth the noise of this great shout in the camp of the Hebrews? And they understood that the Ark of Yahuwah was coming to the camp. And the Philistines were afraid, for they said, Yahuwah is coming to the camp. And they said, Woe unto us, for there have not been such a thing heretofore. Woe unto us, who shall deliver us out of the hand of these mighty gods? These are the gods that smote the Egyptians with all the plagues in the wilderness. Be strong and quit yourselves like men, O ye Philistines, that ye be not servants unto the Hebrews as they have been unto you. Quit yourselves like men and fight. And the Philistines fought, and Israel was smitten. They fled every man into his tent. And there was a great slaughter, and there fell of Israel thirty thousand footmen. And the ark of Yahuwah was taken, and the two sons of Eli, Hophni and Phinehas, were slain. And there ran a man of Benjamin out of the army, and came to Shiloh on the same day with his clothes rent, with earth upon his head. And when he came low, Eli sat upon the seat by the wayside, watching, for his heart trembled for the ark of Yahuwah. And when the man came into the city and told it, all the city cried out. And when Eli heard the noise of the crying, he said, What meaneth the noise of this tumult? And the man came in hastily and told Eli. Now Eli was ninety and eight years old, and his eyes were dim that he could not see. And the man said unto Eli, I am he that came out of the army, and I fled today out of the army. And he said, What is there done, my son? And the messenger answered and said, Israel is fled before the Philistines, and there hath been also a great slaughter among the people, and the two sons also, and thy two sons also, Hophni and Phinehas, are dead, and the ark of Yahuwah is taken. And it came to pass, when he made mention of the ark of Yahuwah, that he fell from off his seat backward by the side of the gate, and his neck brake, and he died, for he was an old man and heavy, and he judged Israel forty years. And his daughter-in-law, Phineas' wife, was with child, near to be delivered. And when she heard the things, the tidings that the ark was taken and that her father-in-law and her husband were dead, she bowed herself and travailed, for her pains came upon her. And about the time of her death, the woman that stood by her said, Fear not, for thou hast borne a son. But she said, But she answered not, neither did she regard it. And she named the child Ichabod, saying, The glory is departed from Israel, because the ark of Yahuwah was taken, and because her father-in-law and her husband. 
And she said, The glory is departed from Israel, for the ark of Yahuwah is taken. First Samuel chapter 5. And the Philistines took the ark of Yahuwah and bore it from Ebenezer unto Ashdod. And when the Philistines took the ark of Yahuwah and bore it into the house of, they took it and bore it into the house of Dagon and set it by Dagon. And when they of Ashdod arose early in the morning, behold, Dagon was fallen upon his, upon his face to the earth before the ark of Yahuwah. And they took Dagon and set him in his place again. And when they rose early, on the morrow morning, behold, Dagon was fallen upon his face to the ground before the ark of Yahuwah, and the head of Dagon and both the palms of his hands were cut off upon the threshold. Only the stump of Dagon was left to him. Therefore, neither the priests of Dagon nor any that came into Dagon's house tread upon the threshold of Dagon and Ashdod unto this day. But the hand of Yahuwah was heavy upon them of Ashdod, and he destroyed them and smote them with emrods, even Ashdod and the coast thereof. And when the men of Ashdod saw that it was so, they said, The ark of Yahuwah of Israel shall not abide with us, for his hand is sore upon us and upon Dagon our God. They sent therefore and gathered all the lords of the Philistines unto them and said, What shall we do with the ark of Yahuwah of Israel? And they answered, Let the ark of Yahuwah be carried about unto Gath. And they carried the ark of Yahuwah about thither. And it was so that after they had carried it about, that the hand of Yahuwah was against the city with very great destruction. And he smote the men of the city, both small and great, and they had emeralds in their secret parts. Therefore they sent the ark of Yahuwah to Ekron. And it came to pass as the ark of Yahuwah came to Ekron, that Ekron cried out, saying, They have brought about the ark of Yahuwah of Israel to us to slay us and our people. So they sent and gathered together all the lords of the Philistines and said, Send away the ark of Yahuwah of Israel and let it go again to its own place that it slay us not and our people. For there was a daily destruction throughout all the city and the hand of Yahuwah was very heavy there. And the men that died not were smitten with the emeralds and the cry of the city went up to heaven. Last chapter for today, 1 Samuel chapter 6. Mommy, yes. what's 10 times 2? Ten times two is twenty. I feel that already. All right. Okay. Give me a few minutes. I'm almost done. And the ark of Yahuwah was in the country of the Philistines seven months. And the Philistines called for the priests and diviners, saying, "What shall we do to the ark of Yahuwah? Tell us wherewith we shall send it to its place." And they said, "If you send away the ark of Yahuwah of Israel, send it not empty." But in any wise return him a trespass offering, then ye shall be healed, and it shall be known to you why his hand is not removed from you. Then they said, What shall be the trespass offering which we shall return to him? They answered, Five golden emeralds and five golden mice, according to the number of the lords of the Philistines. For one plague was upon you all and on your lords. Wherefore ye shall make images of your emeralds and images of your mice that mar the land. And ye shall give glory unto Yahuwah of Israel. Peradventure he will lighten his hand from off you and from off your gods and from off your land. Wherefore then do ye harden your hearts as the Egyptians and the Pharaoh hardened their hearts when he had wrought wonderfully among them and they did not let the people go and departed. Now therefore make a new cart and take two milk kine on which there hath come no yoke and tie the kine to the cart, and bring their calves home from them. And take the ark of Yahuwah, and lay it upon the carts, and put the jewels of gold, which ye return for a trespass offering, and a coffer by the side thereof, and send it away, that it may go. And see, if it go up by the way of his own coast to Beth Shemesh, that he hath done to us great evil. But if not, then we will know that it is not his hand that smote us. It was chance that it happened to us. And the man did so, and took two milk kine, and tied them to the cart, and shut up their calves at home. And they laid the ark of Yahuwah upon the cart, and the coffer, with the mice of gold, and the images of the emeralds. And the kine took the straight way to the way of Beth Shemesh, and went along the highway, lowing as they went, and turned not aside to the right hand or to the left, and to the lords of the Philistines. And the lords of the Philistines went after them unto the border of Beth Shemesh. And they of Beth Shemesh were reaping their wheat harvest in a valley, and they lifted up their eyes and saw the ark and rejoiced to see it. And the cart came into the field of Joshua at Beth Shemite and stood there, where there was a great stone, and they clave the wood of the cart, and they offered a kind 
a burnt offering unto Yahuwah. And the Levites took down the ark of Yahuwah and the coffer that was with it, wherein the jewels of gold were, and put them on the great stone. And the men of Beth Shemesh offered burnt offerings and sacrificed sacrifices the same day unto Yahuwah. And when the five lords of the Philistines had seen it, they returned back to Ekron the same day. And these were the golden emeralds, which the Philistines returned for a trespass offering unto Yahuwah. For Ashdod one, for Gaza one, for Ashkelon one, for Gath one, for Ekron one, and the golden mice according to the number of all the cities of, cities of the Philistines belonging to the five lords, both of fenced cities and of the country villages, even unto the great stone of Abel, whereon they set down the ark of Yahuwah, which stone remaineth unto this day in the field of Joshua, the Beth Shemite. And he smote the men of Beth Shemesh because they had looked into the ark of Yahuwah. Even he smote the people, 50,000 and threescore and ten men. And the people lamented because Yahuwah had smitten so many people with a great slaughter. And the men of Beth Shemesh said, Who is able to stand before this holy Lord God? And whom shall he go up from us? And they sent messengers to the inhabitants of Keth, Ker Jath Jer what is it? Ker Jath Jeramin Ker Jath Jeram. I screwed that up. Saying, The Philistines have brought again the ark of Yahuwah. Come ye down and fetch it unto you. Everybody was trying to get rid of it. Alright, y'all. So that was our reading for today. We read first Samuel four, five, and six. It is February the 24th, 2020, Monday, day 80 of year two of reading through the books of instruction and the prophets, otherwise known as the Old Testament. All right, y'all. So that with that being said, I hope you enjoyed the reading for today. If you missed it, go on back and read it on your own time. Or when I post a video, if you want to hear me talk, go on back and listen to me read it again. All right, y'all. With that being said, may you who will bless us and keep us. May Yahuwah make his face to shine upon us and be gracious unto us. And may Yahuwah lift up his countenance upon us and give us his peace or his shalom, his salama, his wholeness and all that concerns us. All right, y'all. I love y'all and I will see you in the morning. Bruce.